Welcome to Essentials Explained. In this video, we'll be covering the core logical operator in Excel, an if statement. This is a foundational building block that will enable you to understand more complex formulas like a sum ifs or a count ifs. If you like this content, please like and subscribe, and let's jump in. So let's talk about if statements. So an if statement requires an input that flows through a logical test. This can be a test on the characters, on the value, on a date. A number of different things can be a logical test. This will either say, yes, it is true, or the value of yes, or it will say, no, this is false, and return a value of no. So how does Excel look at this? Excel uses a very similar syntax. It has a logical test, value of true, value of false. So logical test is what you want to test and your test criteria. Your value of true is the value you want to return if your test is true. And then value of false is value to return if your test is false. Let's look at an example. We want to test if our manager is Steve. So if E3 is equal to Steve, which is our test criteria and what we want to test, which is the manager column, we want to return Steve. If it is not equal to Steve, or if our value is false, we want to return other. Let's look at one more example with a numeric variable. So here we are now testing the revenue column and we wanna see if revenue is over $50. So that is our test criteria and the value we wanna test. It is over 50 is our test criteria and our revenue is the value we wanna test. If this is true, we want to return that it is a top product. And if it is false, we want to return that it is a bottom product. So that is the basics of it. Let's get into and and or statements, which make this a little bit more complex as they have multiple logical tests. So and statement, we start with an input and we have our first logical test. If that test is false or if no, we return the value of no automatically. If it's yes, we'll actually do another logical test. If that test is no, we return the same value of no or value of false. If that value is also true, then we return the value of true or the value of yes. So key takeaway here is and statements require all of your logical tests to be true to return a value if true. Let's look at a quick example to understand what this means. So our first logical test here is the manager Steve and the product revenue is over 50. If that is true, we want to return Steve and the top product. If either of those are false, we will return other, right? So let's look at row seven. We can see that the manager is Steve, but the revenue is under $50. So it returns an other or it returns our false value. Let's look at the or statement. So the or statement is slightly different. It has the same logical test structure, but will return your value of true if any of your logical tests return true. So logical test, if that is yes, we return the value of yes or the value of true. If that is no, we will do another logical test. If this is true, we will return that same value of yes or value of true. If that is no, then we return the value of no or the value of false. So takeaway here, only one of your logical tests has to be true with an or statement to return your value if yes or value if true. Let's take a quick look. So here I've done the same example, used Steve and our revenue being over 50. So our test is, is the manager equal to Steve? Is our revenue over 50? If that is true, we want to return Steve slash top product. And if that is not true, we want to return other. Again, we can look at that same example and see here, because only one of those needs to be true, right? Our manager is Steve. So even though our revenue is under 50, we still return Steve slash top product. So let's talk about nested if statements. So nested if statements are gonna be very similar to your or statement, but we'll have multiple values to return if true. So let's walk through this simply. You have a logical test. If that value is true, you return a value if yes. If that value is false, you're actually gonna do a different logical test. 
If that logical test is true, you'll return a different value if yes or if true. If that second logical test is false, you will return a value of false or a value of no. So here we have three different potential values to return. You have the value of yes if your first logical test is true, the value to return if your second logical test is true, and finally the value to return if neither of your logical tests are true. So let's walk through an example to see how this works in action. First if statement will be comprised of our first logical test, which is, is our manager equal to Steve? And the value we want to return if that's true, which is Steve. Our second if statement will be comprised of our second logical test, which is, is our manager equal to Danielle? Our value we want to return if that's true, which is Danielle. And our value we want to return if that is false, which is other. So we can see in this criteria list, we have our three different potential outputs. So we have our value to return if our first logical test is true, which is Steve. We have our value to return if our second logical test is true, which is Danielle. And our value to return if neither of our logical tests are true, which is other. If you're interested in understanding how to augment your data set with lookup columns, utilizing an index match, please check out the next video in our series. Otherwise, thank you for joining us at Essentials Explained, and we look forward to seeing you again soon.